Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Teeth and Glass. Uh, this one here, I know I'm playing as a doctor and it might be a nightmare or something like that. Let's uh, check it out and see what we do. We've got an elderly male, very underweight, age unknown, gunshot wound to the chest. Ow. Okay. Pulse. I, unknown. What do you mean, unknown? I couldn't find it. But he's breathing. Well, that's not normal. That's impossible. It must be... It must just be faint. Just get him hooked up to the monitor. We need to operate now. Dr. Hagstrom? Yes? Are you ready to operate? Yes. Preparing to make the first decision. Okay. Oh, hello. All right, full hole, begin. Okay. Ooh, ugh. Oh my God. Thank you for taking the words right out of my mouth. Where's his blood? I've never seen anything like it. How is he alive? Get that bullet out of him first, then, well, just get the bullet out. Disconcerting coils. Glass shards. I scraped the tweezers along the glassy surface. How could such th a such thing exist? My priority was a bullet over and above any other condition that was presented, at least for now. The inky black blood splashed on my face. Ew. I felt both hot and cold. It seemed to work its way past my eyes, across my face, into my nose and mouth. Okay. And then, I fell into darkness. Weird. Dr. Claridge? Claridge? Like, what the hell? Where are you? Ooh. I have more important things to do than wipe it down. Oh, that's true. X-rays. There's no need to take them down. All right. I didn't want to wipe down that table until I knew what that substance was. Probably a good idea. There's nothing on the tray. There's no need to use the anesthesia card. That's fair. What about me? Can I check me? It's a fly cover. Uh, that door looks a little locked up. I didn't have any reason to go rifling through the cover. This is the way out. How the hell did someone chain these doors shut? Yeah. Hello? Oh! Handprints! Bloody handprints appeared on the glass of the cupboard. It was a cheap Halloween trick, the kind that Dr. Blake liked to pull, but not at work. Blake? Wherever you are, this isn't funny. People are relying on us. This will cost you your job. Only answer was the incessant rain. Damn it. I looked at the cupboard. Perhaps I had to look inside to play a stupid game to get out of it. It would be gone by tomorrow if I had anything to do with it. There was something at the back of the shelf. I needed to get the bottles out of the way to get to it. Ah! What the hell was that? And what the hell was that? Did I manage it? Im Im imagine it? Bottle the key inside. I'm in this thing. Did I take it? Oh yeah, there's no need to look in there anymore. Oh. There's no need to- oh yeah, I didn't click it. I, well, I didn't think I clicked it. 
I had more important things to do to wipe him down. Not to mention that it says lost on it. Okay. Organic mass. There was no way I was going to touch the oh, I was touching that. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, there's an eye. Do I have an inventory? Okay. Oh wait, I got the key. Well, I guess I don't need to take it out. Maybe I can just use it on one of the locks. Or not. Oh, what is this? It was my home. My study. I was it here. Large leather bound book. To become reborn, you must first re re organize your roots. The land that first held you. Secondly, you must bathe in the blue waters that quenched your thirst. Lastly, you must allow the es essence of life to flow. Blood be bound. Alright, cool. Photograph. <clears throat> there was a photograph of me and Mary on our wedding day. But what happened to our eyes? Ooh. Red teardrop gem. Mary? Okay. Anything different in the book? No pages? Okay. Okay, so now we have a key and a jar of green goo. And a red gem. Seeping black liquid. How did I not notice that? I was going to touch with my bare hands. Okay, do I have a... Is there like a... Oh. Moving the cover revealed a huge fleshy wound in the wall. I can hear crying from within. Can we push this back? Okay, I guess we can. Cavernous hole. You won't touch the goo on the ground, but you'll crawl in a fleshy hole? <laughs> I'm both fascinated and horrified with what I'm doing. Um, I guess we're going forward. Fleshy webbing. Spider legs, so let's just, uh... Yeah. There's no way I was tearing that thick organic mass by hand. I needed to think of something else. I wouldn't be able to get out while the web was still there. Oh! Oh! I have an inventory. Oh. Silver bullet. Oh, silver bullet. Was that thing like a... Got a scalpel. That's a funny idea. Um... Beezers? That's a funny thing. Okay. Not to be so rude about it. Oh, I have uh, multiple levels? Oh, no. Um. Here's blood, green liquid, methyl, oh, whatever. Some acid? Ah! A teddy. There. With another gem. It was my daughter's Freya's toy bear, Monty. I said long ago been lost, but there was a something else there now, a red gem. 
lodged in the eye socket. I made my way back out of the hole as quickly as I could. Alright. Tweezers. I was able to carefully remove the jewel without damaging the toy. Freya wouldn't have give, forgive me if I had hurt Monty. Okay. So now we have two gems. I managed to deliver the wires off and get the key out. But the scalpel broke in the process. Crap. Old key. Okay, is this key work right here? Ooh, we got we got one. Okay. We still need two more keys, it looks like. Alright, so we have gems. You're getting a little bit more gooey. Oh my god, what are you? You're a marionette. The marionette was almost life-size and made of carved wood. I couldn't place the style. Maybe it was Middle Eastern? I didn't think I should give that away. Okay, so we gave her some green crap. Oh. Oh, wait. That, that, uh... Oh, oh, the book. It said something, didn't it? Probably something to do with the marionette. To become reborn, you must first re... Organize your roots in the land that first held you. Secondly, you must bathe in the blue waters that quenched your thirst. Lastly, you must allow the pleasant of blood. Okay. Press the jewel into the place. Oh, okay, so the jewel's going to the past silver bullet. What does that do? Look at the appearance. Oh, it was a color thing. Look at the appearance of blood. And, it's, and it's strange to tell among that earthen lot. Some could articulate while others not. And suddenly, one more impatient cried. Who is the potter, pray, and who is the pot? The small iron key appeared in the bowl as the blood seeped away. Okay. Cool. All 
Alright, so we need one more key. If I may have a moment of your time. Good evening, good morning, whatever the time is. Okay. It means very little to me. Obviously, you're, you're you. I... Before we begin, can I check your name? What? Joshua Hagstrom, yes? Dr. Joshua Hagstrom? Yes. Excellent. Always good to start by knowing who you're talking to. I suggest you ask some questions, young man. I suppose this must be quite shocking. Maybe I would have reacted the same once upon a time. I'm a bit long in the tooth now. Haha. <laughs> okay. Anyway, ask your questions. We must draw this to a conclusion. Who are you? What are you? Your skin, your body, how are you alive? What is this place? What is going on? Am I dead? Who is the man on the table? Alright. How are you? Well, I'm guessing he's not actually alive. I hope I can ask all these questions. I really do. So I'm gonna go with who's the man? Who's the man on the table? Oh, he would have he would have what remains of my guts. Or garters? If I were to say his name. Needless to say, he is the reason that I'm here and the reason you are here. He's watching you. Quite the privilege. What is he? Is he a demon? Huh. No, not at all. He's a man, just like you. Well, maybe not exactly like you. There's one quite... There's no one quite like him. Okay. Oh, good. We get to ask them all. Okay. Your skin, your body... How are you alive? I don't know that I am. I exist. That is enough. All I need are my senses to observe, my mind to understand, and my hand to wield the pen. Pen. All else is just a matter free to be lost. What is this place? I suppose the best way to describe it is a holding cell. No, sorry. I should rephrase that. Maybe an airlock? What? I know, probably a poor analogy. Uh, maybe limbo? Purgatory? But I should say, not in a religious sense. From what I have seen, there is no god. Not in the proper, popular sense, anyway. There is power, that is certain. Apologies, I'm rambling. No, no, go ahead. Apparently, I have time. Uh, who are you? What are you? I'm sure I did once have a name, but I must have forgotten it long ago. I don't need a name, to be honest. All I am is my role. What is your role? As what? Scribe, maybe? Historian? Some days I feel a little more than a glorified dictaphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you recording? Everything that I see. You can see. The story that I am privileged to be witnessing. Yes, call me the witness. That will do. What kind of story? The best kind. Adventure. Love. Loss. Struggle. Triumph. A masterpiece. Okay, sounds like a good uh, read, I guess, maybe. Uh, what is going on? Am I dead? No, not at all. Well, not yet. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you. Even so, life is temporary anyway, my friend. From the point of view of eternity, you may as well be dead. What is it? What is that supposed to mean? Stop speaking in riddles. Well, that is a fair point. I do rather like the sound of my own voice. Alright. I rarely get to use it nowadays. Can you help me get out of here? Yes, of course. The destination, though, that is what you need to decide. What do you mean? I will lay it out for you, good doctor. You have always been a conscious man, diligent in all matters of work. Have you not? I, I have. Following the footsteps of your father, your brothers, you were the youngest to achieve your doctorate. How do you know all this? You chose those nights away from your wife, from your daughter, to follow your dream. I didn't choose. It's always a choice. I'm not trying to shame you, Doctor. You seek knowledge. You want to better yourself. And by your actions today, you have given yourself the opportunity to see things, places, events, 
that you would never have chances otherwise. You can join us, see the unseen, rise up against the etheric bonds that shackle humanity, and break them. Or, you can return to your family, to your profession, become a ripple in the ocean of time, lost in a heartbeat. And this is not without meaning, my friend. For every moment of the cosmic that you for every moment of the cosmic that you witness with us, you will miss a moment just like as vital as your soul with your wife, your daughter. I I had a family once too. I was a grandfather. Oh you look pretty good for a grandfather, yeah. I suggest you take some time to decide. Come back to me when you are certain of your answer. I'll be waiting. So you're ready? What is your decision? Knowledge or love? Hmm. What would you choose? This one, basically, I'm dead. This isn't here I go back home, I'm assuming. And to be honest, I think I'd probably go back to my family if it was my choice. Because apparently this is what you might end up like for an eternity. So I'm going to go with love. The curious twisted man gave a sigh, a smile moving fleetingly over his weathered, withered features. So be it. I took the red gem. It was warm in my hand. Where are you keeping the red gem? A completed silver bullet. That won't do anything. The symbol on the bullet was glowing. I felt nause nausea rise in my gut as I stared at it. The blood pounding my ears. And then as the bile rose in my throat. A shame. I had hoped that, but then hope means little. And you have earned the right to choose. You saved me, and I'll respect your decision. Remain here, but know this. In your silent evenings, if you are choked back confessions, as the shadows of doubt dig their way to your soul. Agstrom, can you hear me? He's coming around. Contact his wife. Her name is Mary. The contact details in his, are in his file. His teeth. What about my teeth? Agstrom, we're going to do some tests. You just passed out. Have you been drinking enough? Will he be okay? I think so. What happened to him? He was operating on... He was... Is there a patient on the way? I don't think so. The table is prepped, but there's no one. I remember his teeth. I think we all need a rest. His teeth! His teeth! Are they gone? I will be waiting. <sighs> Thank you for playing Teeth of Glass. This is not the end, uh... Okay. That was pretty freaking good. I liked that. I mean, I got stuck a little bit here and there, but otherwise it was great. I enjoyed it. Um, for a while there, I didn't realize I had an inventory system. That was my dumb fault. They probably told me that. I just wasn't paying attention. But otherwise, it was great. Uh, if you want to check it out yourself, you maybe choose the other options to see what you get in that ending. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments what you got. You know. Um, but anyway, it'll be down in the description. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.